You know, I love math. Um, it's such a self-determining, motivating factor, not just with numbers, but also with a lot of metaphors and examples. And uh, math is a science, but let me just break it down to you like this. If you do more of something in life, more numbers, right, you're going to get better at it. But one of the things that I love the most is Isaac Newton's law of physics, which is applied to all of life, meaning a force has to be acted upon something for an object to move. An object will not move unless a force acts upon it, okay? There's a ball lying on a floor, you push the ball, it moves. You can use that exact metaphor for your entire life, which means if you get off your ass and put yourself in motion, you will get to where you want to be in life. And the more repetitions you do of everything, you'll get there better, quicker, faster. I love math. I love because it's simple. I love because it can be used in all facets and your imagination and life and practicality for things that you don't like and things that you love. And even more, things that you're passionate about. If you actually just think for a minute, how many repetitions Michael Jordan took as far as a uh, uh, shooting a basketball, right? The more he shoots that damn basketball, the more, more uh, basket he gets. He's probably taking more basket than anybody else. And that goes into a whole other realm as far as quality goes. Because if you take bad shots, if you take bad shots, well, that doesn't really matter. Okay, you got to have good shots. So you got to get your technique down first, right? But um, I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing that even with something, uh, which I'll do a separate video on, which is uh, scientific problem solving. It's the most basic, simple, raw data gathering. And it's the form. It's the form of information that I use for all of my comedy and all of my jokes. I use a scientific method, uh, which is the simplest problem-solving solution, or solutions, right? To figure out which joke, what word order, do I pause, do I say the word different, are my words in the right order? The formula of words and the pausing and the rhythm, there's even a rhythm. Every joke has its rhythm, like its own song, and people don't think about that, but it's true. It does. It's got to be another post, right? But the point is, is that, getting back to the original point, right? You are your own asteroid wrecking force of um, power. You. You are the one every single day, myself, right? The listener, etc. They can put your ass in the front seat of your life, okay? And take yourself to where you want to go. That whole not wanting to do things, that's just weakness. That's lack of discipline. And when you take that strength to do it for something that you don't want to do, if you do something you don't want to do, you have more time to do things that you do want to, which is also a great lesson. But as far as the things that maybe they're psychologically scary because you don't really know the outcome, the things that maybe you don't want to practice because it's hard. Hard is not a real thing either. A lot of information right now, but hard is only, hard is only a concept. It's not a reality because after you've done something the exact task multiple times that task does not become different but it does become easier so if you do something for a year compared to five minutes okay hard really is just like a temporary illusion hard should just be replaced if you want to be more psychologically strong right more mentally fit with just the phrase or sentence of something new that you're trying, something new that you're working on. Nothing is really hard. It's just a lack of experience, right? So anyway, I was uh, looking at this scientific method book and it made me really motivated. And I wanted to make a post uh, about the uh, laws of physics and whatnot. And I thought, man, that's so cool because you can really apply that to your life. Can really apply that to uh, getting where you want to be 
being motivated, but what else would you need? You're gonna need the repetition, the consistency to be that expert, professional, amazing uh, dream player of doing whatever you wanna do, whatever you wanna be in your life, right? But you also need the quality, you know? There's an author, which I'm not even gonna get into right now, which talks about taking quality, and once you have the quality, then you get the repetitions, all right? There's so much great information out there for you. And I'm just, I'm like a voice in the darkness. And if nobody hears what I says or implement it, that doesn't mean that what I'm saying isn't true. So just dedicate your actions to the laws of physics, to laws of math, okay? To consistency and discipline. And I promise you, everything that I say, I say it to myself, for myself, and for you which helps me, the listener as my own listener, because I'm the only one driving in my car right now, right? But also you, if you've made it this far, you could just realize that all of your life answers are in basic mathematical principles of uh, in formulas, right? That's all you need. For success, essentially, you could have all the support that you want. That's not gonna help you if you don't have quality repetitions. Scientific method, that's problem solving solutions. You have a problem, all of your support in the world isn't gonna help you find that problem unless they maybe, you know, kind of brainstorm it with you, right? You gotta have the repetitions, you gotta have the quality. You gotta have the problem solving. But first and foremost, you gotta put your ass in motion. Laws of physics goes far, it goes long, it goes forever, and it's forever true. So, anyway guys, I'm motivated, I'm pumped up, and, um, you know, fortunately, because of this lifestyle that I live, of, um, you know, psychological battles, and, um, uh, I, as I call it, psychological warfare, I have one of the, my most, in my opinion, one of my most um, motivating, self-motivating things I ever said. And I said it out loud and I got it on film, which I'm glad I did. It was just like a stream of consciousness that I recorded, right? Was that, and again, this is a paraphrase. If you want to see the original one, um, just email me and I'll show you where it is. But basically... Every single day, regardless of whatever accomplishments it is, it's like you de like stack a, a deck of cards of accomplishments. And in the morning, somebody comes by and hits that deck of cards and everything goes away. Meaning, all of your life accomplishments, everything that you did in one day means absolutely nothing the next morning, unless you build off of it. And every single day, you gotta start you got to start all over. you got to get re-motivated. you got to get re-inspired. But the thing that helps the most is that consistency to be able to not just building a routine is one thing. Keeping a routine is integral. That is the most important part of any routine. So anyway, guys, lots of information. Hopefully, at least the first minute got you to listen to the second minute and then so forth and so on because these... These principles of physics, getting your ass in motion, busting your ass, and starting over every single morning to be motivated to push yourself, right? That's the key, but, but the key is movement. Movement in your mind means movement in your body. So you guys have the best day. Get motivated. I'm Benja Well Done. Check me out. Peace.